Hi everyone. Many people are digging into the mystery of this missing Flight 370 from Malaysia. Well, I just wanted to add some more evidence on my channel to this, which we show the symbolism from all around the world, showing how we're nearing the end of days even. Well, a lot of people are talking about this because it has the trident symbol on the back. Or it could even be seen as a 3-3. Three, three. Or some people have had seen a C-3, which would actually represent 33 again also and the trident representing war. And then we have Russia moving over into the Ukraine and Crimea area, amassing troops, just as in the Bible it talks of that they will come after Israel at the end of days, and that ten kingdoms will rise up to betray basically the USA and then go after Israel. Well, we're going to break a code here quickly. In some of the oldest books, there is a three-number code that many of the Freemasons went by, and then a four-number code and five-number code. This Flight 370 represents a three-number code, and it represents the time of the end of grace and mercy, and the time of the judges coming, judgment, the four horsemen. This would be the seventh book, it would be three sevens, so it would be the seventh book, the seventh chapter, right here, Judges 7. Remember how we have just had the movies out like 300, and then the new movie again, which like the sequel to the 300 trying to stop the New World Order coming back in the old days? Well, in the seventh verse, here you go. And the Lord said unto Gideon, By the 300 men that lapped will I save you and deliver the Midianites into thine hand and let all the other people go, every man unto his place. This represents the end of days coming. And as I keep showing, the end of days in Armageddon is actually a big trap that the Lord God himself is setting to, to weed out all the demons and such at the end of days. Well, this is showing that right here. Now, some people might think that this might mean a rapture event. And then the people that come back on the white horses with the Lord Jesus Christ to take on Satan. Who knows? That might be. But I wanted to show right here in The Amazing Spider-Man, the brand new trailer, He's catching this car at the beginning in here. And in this movie, many different people are coming together to try to get rid of him. Just like in the Bible, the ten kingdoms that betray the USA and go after the USA and after Israel. And you can see on the back here, this is how they do their numerology. Here's the three sevens. Seven seven zero three still means flight 370 to these Freemasons. That's exactly what that means even when you turn it over up here. See how it's upside down? And you have the big V coming for the fifth age as they call it, which represents the new world order and the age of the beast. In the Bible it talks of five kingdoms on the earth and then the earth will be remade. We're getting ready to enter into the last one, the age of the beast and the great deception all upon the earth. Well I just wanted to show that this is connecting with a lot of things right in front of us we have here the time of judgment, the judges coming, and it even mentions the 300. Well, there were three, about 300 people on that plane also coming right here. And there it is right there in front of us. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. There it is, Flight 370, just as we keep showing all the other evidence. This means stuff. Something's going on. We don't know about timing, but we should still keep a watchful eye out and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know what it is I love about being Spider-Man? Everything. There he is, boy. It's been ten years. What have you been up to? I do some web design. Nice arm. It's just the wrist. It's just on the wrist, buddy. Peter, you're gonna want to see this, Oscorp. Get you under surveillance. Why? Isn't that the question of the day? Nothing what I thought it was. I once told you that.
Secrets have a cost. The truth does too. My name is Richard Parker. I have discovered what Oscorp was going to use my research for. What is all this? The future. We have plans for you, Peter Parker. You wanted to be the hero. Need a hand? Now you gotta pay the price. We have the power now. We can change the world. Then let's go catch a spider. I made a choice. This is my path. Than I'm the only one who can stop them. I'm Spider-Man. I'm coming with you. Fine, it's too dangerous. Sorry, I love you. Don't hate me. Peter!